Well, hello, Shoreline Congregation and friends of Shoreline Church. It's good to be with you. This is your devotional for June uh, 29th, and we are continuing on in James chapter 5. Uh, last Wednesday, we talked about how we need to be careful that possessions don't possess us. James continues on, and I, I really think the heartbeat of the message today for us is this. Beware of acts of injustice, because God sees and God cares. Be careful you're not involved in injustice, because God knows what's going on. Listen to these words. In James 5, verses 4 through 6. Look, the wages you failed to pay the workers who mowed your fields are crying out against you. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. You have lived on earth in luxury and self-indulgence. You have fattened yourselves for the day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the innocent one who was not opposing you. Boy, there's a lot here, but the heartbeat really seems to be this declaration that God sees this world, He knows what's going on, and the way we behave in every way, but here specifically with our resources, really matter. And so a few thoughts. Uh, when we live with unjust actions toward those in need, and we don't care about the results, God does see and God does care. Someone works for you, you, pay, you, you promise them a certain amount of pay, and you don't pay them, that's an injustice. God cares. Here's another insight. When we hoard what we have and show no compassion to the poor, to the forgotten, to the outcast, we have to remember that God still cares about them. All through the Old Testament, there's kind of, kind of a recurring phrase that God cares about the, about the, the alien, the one who's, who's from a different area, who doesn't feel at home. God cares about the orphan. God cares about the widow. People in that time who had no safety net, no protection, it says God cares about them, God protects them. That's a great comfort, but it should remind us to care with the same heart that God has for others. There's a lesson here that we need to learn to share with joy, not to hold everything for ourselves, but to live our lives with open hands. And when God gives us a, chan a chance to share what we have, we do it with delight in our hearts. And then we need to open our eyes to the needs around us, soften our hearts, and be willing to share in the name of Jesus. How are you doing in this part of your life? Has money so controlled you that you actually hold on to it so tightly that you don't live with a generous spirit? That is money so important to you that you would actually cheat someone else to make sure you have more? That's not God's heart for us. God sees those in need. God's heart goes out to those in need. We should have hearts like the heart of Jesus. Lord Jesus, this is our prayer that we will see the resources we have as a gift from you, thankfully appreciating what you've given to us. But Lord, we would not be hoarders. We would not be people who protect what we have. But when we see a need, when our heart feels for someone, and Lord, change our hearts to feel and to care, that we would then respond with grace and love and generosity, with open hands and open hearts and open lives to bless others. We pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Well, blessings on you the rest of this day, and hopefully we'll see you as we gather to worship online and on campus at Shoreline Church, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock California time. Blessings on you.